wonder if you could share well, what are some common or, or basic legalities that actors and other artists should know about? Well, I think I think really one of the first things you want to make sure that you're getting in place anytime you're getting hired on for a production, you you want a contract. Like you want that producer to hand you something, setting out the four corners of what your role is supposed to be and what they're going to be doing with your work. Um, larger productions, obviously anything that's through a SAG signatory, that's like through a union signatory, is going to have some very extensive contracts. You'll probably want a lawyer to help you review that. But a lot of the smaller things that are coming out these days, especially stuff that's being released online, that's being done a little more ad hoc or a little more just sort of by the cuff, you're not always seeing producers putting together proper contracts for that. So I think the first step is, is when somebody approaches you and say, hey, I want to hire you for like a two week shoot. I want you to do X, Y, Z. Uh, you say, great. Can I see that in writing? So you know that you're actually going to get what's being promised to you at the end of it all. And I guess is, is it through a contract that I, I guess, especially for actors who are emerging, they might, you know, just starting to be get uh, significant work when they get handed a contract, what, what are some important things that actors need to look for that clues them in to, to be like, oh, okay, this is a legitimate contract, like it has A, B, C, and D, as opposed to maybe just a piece of paper that whoever is saying it is a contract, but it's missing some really vitally important points on there. Yeah, so the starting point for a contract, and this is like law school 101, is for something to be a binding contract, you need an offer, you need acceptance, you need consideration, you need meeting of the minds. Basically, you need one party saying, I want to give you this, or I want you to do this. You have the other party saying, I'm going to do this. You have consideration, and that's like the dollar value. So usually for actors, it's they're getting paid, and depending on the production, sometimes they get points um, as well. And then you need to make sure that everybody's in agreement. Now, you mentioned like, Oh, maybe, what about like a half page piece of paper? Is that going to be a contract? Sometimes that is. Sometimes that's what you see, especially for smaller productions that don't have legal behind them or are so tiny that you know, nobody's putting necessarily time into it. Sometimes all you see are half page agreements. And those are better than nothing, better than a handshake, better than a verbal promise. And that's kind of how it works. I mean, you, know, you could have a 12 page agreement, which looks great, but it's nothing compared to the 75 page SAG compliant agreement that you're going to get for, for, for a full scale feature production. In terms of looking out for things, I mean, the classic lawyer answer is going to be, don't figure it out yourself, go to a lawyer. But <laughs> it's really making sure that whatever was promised to you up front by that producer is actually reflected in that piece of paper that you're being handed. And sadly, or not so sadly, I guess, depending on how you want to look on it. So much of it comes down to like what you're getting paid, um, which, as you mentioned before, it seems like a lot of actors and other performers are getting more on board with the business side than they ever have been. And this is something I talk about a lot, and you'll probably hear me repeat this. It feels like in the last like 10 years, which is really just the, sc the scope of time that I've been working as a lawyer, um, Performers in general are getting a lot more savvy when it comes to figuring their stuff out. So they're looking for things like that themselves. And it's great. And being on top of that and asking those questions and making sure those things are being put out there in writing are the most important things. And the thing is, the contract is just English at the end of the day, assuming we're talking about American contract. It's just going to be English. And yeah, there's a lot of words in there that are highly technical, but... If you're being given a one page piece of paper, the most important thing you want to take away from it is do I understand what I'm reading in the first place? 